Hi, it's Paul Sankey from London. Uh, they're talking about the winter of discontent here with the number of strikes that are going on, train strikes and postal strikes and stuff. But as long as the England soccer team is striking, everything's great in London. So, uh, hi, I just had an interesting conversation with a portfolio manager who was asking me about, for example, the impact of the price cap. And she's done well this year. She's had a growth shop, but been overweight oil. Uh, but her concern is a couple of things. Number one, she doesn't understand the price cap. I told her nobody does. We do think we'll lose oil from Russia now. As today, uh, sanctions kick in for Russian, Russian oil to the EU crude. And it does look over the weekend as if China is going to go more down the opening up route than the COVID zero route. So that's going to be basically bullish for oil markets at the margin over the next six months. One interesting thing is it's going to be worse for Europe next winter when China's back in the market, when there's less Russian gas, China LNG is going to be less available to refill European storage. And Mike Worth was asserting, and this was the portfolio manager's view as well, that actually it's next winter will be worse than this winter in Europe. So the European outlook is really pretty grim, to be honest with you. China is always difficult to tell. I mean, I, t I talk about China being the uh, the next Japan, and I think it will be. But um, you know, in the short term, they can bounce back pretty hard, and that will be bullish for oil markets. And of course, in the U.S., everything seems to be essentially running fast based on the jobless numbers alone. U.S. US oil demand at seasonal all-time record highs, just about. Refining margins are a bit scary. They seem to be saying that demand is weakening, but the data is saying that demand is still very high, and. You know, we'll see. It's a very tough time of year to call oil late November. Uh, but my general view is we retain a bullish view into driving season next year because of the outages. One of the key marginal things, of course, being less SBR oil and because the demand is holding up, particularly in the US and will likely come back in China. So I think I get what's going on. It then gets complicated because, of course, the oil stocks have outperformed the commodity. And what we found, which is a historic fairly provable, firstly, that the oils can be pretty good at calling the oil price. So the oil stocks seem to be implying that oil is going higher. Will they enjoy that run? That is to say, will they then participate in the run? I think they will up to $100 a barrel. Above 100, it gets a bit tricky for the oils because the market begins to worry about demand destruction. But the move that we could see here up 10 or 15 or $20 should be positive for the equities, even though they've outperformed, keeping in mind that they underperformed the oil price when it went up a lot uh, around the Russian invasion. So we're still pretty bullish here. We are struggling with China. We're struggling with knowing how bullish to be. But essentially, uh, the overall call remains that there's a global energy supply problem. The oils are much better companies with much better managements with strong cash returns. Uh, they're really a perfectly good place to be. So I told them to stay long. Thanks.